Hey guys, how we doing? We are back playing some more Dawn of Zombies Survival. How we going guys? So, you guys like the first video that I put out last week? So we got some decent amount of views, a good uh, amount of reception from it. So you know what? We're going to continue the little series for now. See where it takes us and see how well uh, we can progress in the game. So with that being said, we are going to go over to the uh, Vultures camp. Check that out today and see what that's all about and we'll see you know what we can loot from it most importantly and hopefully we can get a little bit more progression into this game so with that out of the way we will check out um this fella here because we've got to speak to him okay and right now we'll if you guys want to have a bit of a read have a bit of a read for it i'll just sort of leave it maybe every one to two seconds and um just suss out what he has to say and basically we are just sort of having a bit of a little bit of a chat and um, okay and something about the trade place so we've got a reward here let's go ahead and collect that a lot of the stuff that do come through through your um, your reward system and things like that so as you sort of progress through the game and all the little quests that you do a lot of it end up in your storage there now for me personally at this stage in the game as it's a little bit too early on for me to um you know do much about what i've got at the moment so i'm just going to sort of hold back from grabbing things from my inventory so once i sort of build up the base a little bit more got a lot more storage to you uh utilize from then obviously you sort of make the case do you want to move everything across to your um to your base uh, I'm just going to see if she has anything for me, okay, so there's just this on the board she tells me to do. Um, basically, we've got to craft up a stones bonfire, which is fine. Let's go ahead and do that. And what else is there on the daily quest? Tells us to go to the quiet grove, uh, well, grove I should say. So we may do that just to knock off the, um, the rest of the quest line there. So let's go ahead and build this anyway. May as well put this out somewhere. Let's stick it over there. And we are good. So with that, so we obviously need fuel and uh, the raw resources. So I think I might have some stuff over here anyway. Um, let's do the tomato soup. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Go over here. I should have some wood around here. Maybe, maybe not. I've got some seeds which I might drop in. Uh, well, I've only got one bit of wood there, so that's fine. Just to get things started. There we go. So that might cook up a little bit. So it might, might not be much. That's okay. And let's add to that. We'll get some more tomatoes put on. I did say tomato before, so I don't know why I said both analogies of saying that. Um, it is tomato in the, I guess, the Australian way of saying it. But anyway, enough with that. So let's get over to the vultures camp. I'm going to find out where this camp is. Uh, so our wasteland is that over there. The shelter over here, scorch lands. Just a laded hollow, and of course that makes a lot of sense to go over there. So let's run across, and we'll have a bit of a peak ski. So right now, I think my, my hunger is a little bit on the lower end. Water, not too bad. So if I find some food, I'm probably going to definitely have to start eating some food as well. Um, so we don't have any problems here moving forward. All right, so you can hear the bandits. There's a camp tent ahead. And if you sort of look on the mini map there on the top left hand corner, it sort of gives you a bit of an indication of where you're sort of, um, what's sort of up ahead kind of thing. So at least this way, it sort of gives you a little bit of, of a heads up, I guess. And we've got this little kid here again. Okay. All right, well, that's, that's a bit full on to, for a little kid to sort of give me 
some information that's interesting. Okay, not a problem, little man. Uh, you followed the kid. Okay, I probably what what I probably should have done was um, probably should have sussed her at uh, the camp first. But anyway, I, what I probably should have done was yeah, just check it out first and then go ahead and speak to him. Um, okay, so there are a few of these guys over here, so I've got to be careful as well. So if I do the old sneak attack with everything, and now I'm just waking up the neighborhood. Oh, okay, not good. And should be okay. So they didn't really leave too much for me, unfortunately. So I'm just going to start looting up and just grabbing bits and pieces over here whilst I'm going along. If there's anything of interest here, I'll just sort of, you know, take for myself and a level up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey. Oh wow, so there's a few of these guys and they just keep coming. They just keep spawning through. So I don't know what is supposed to go on with this. Um, you know, is there like a certain wave or only like a certain amount? I hope that's all of them. I really do. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough to sort of, yeah, survive. So let's get some food in us. Get some healing back. Are you serious? There's more. No, 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 no. Get, get out there. Ooh. Okay, well, this, I don't think I'm going to have any... I'm going to have to back out for a sec. I'm going to have to get some food from my inventory first. And I'll probably have to switch weapons. Because that spear is not giving me any justice. So let's swap over to that. Oh, okay. Well, that's that makes sense. Alright, so let's go back to inventory. Anything in here? No, no. Go into the storage. And I might just check out this. So we've got, well, that's gonna give us a lot more. So we're gonna take that today. And let us heal up. So we're definitely gonna need all this. All right, so good healing over time. And hopefully I should have enough when we go back in there, I can sort of take him out, I guess. So I'm guessing it's just a wave on a wave front. So the more that you stick around, the more that um, you're going to get bothered by, uh, by these NPCs. So that's going to be annoying. All right, so I've got full health. I've only got the one inventory slot here. There's nothing else I can sort of pop here for now, that's fine. All right, let's go back in. Because I want to open up that big chest that I saw before when I was running out like a coward there, so. Um, okay, so I want to get, oh, there he is again. So he does a decent amount of damage on me, which is not good. I mean, I'm doing more than what he is, but. All right. So I think that looks like to be everyone. Okay. All right, so, well, that's good. Then that should be everybody. So, I uh, can't take the potion, but I should be able to heal and use all of that. Shift that across to there, and I'll probably just get rid of that. And, okay, so that's got a decent amount, but not as good as the spear. Right. Okay, so, okay, so you can't actually open up the chest, which is a bit of a pain, but doesn't matter. So a couple of gears. And what else do we have over here? Uh, okay, so some grass straws. 
yeah so unfortunately right now I do not have enough um, do not have enough space to grab all the necessary stuff but I, I guess in a sense I should be able to run back kind of thing and um, loot the rest because there's some pretty decent things here and obviously I can't take any more of these I should probably read that store in the PDA uh, don't want to split that wood you know what let's get rid of the wood only because that wood can be you know found it at any time and that should just give me you know enough inventory space to sort of remanage and balance around uh, everything else kind of thing so that's basically what I'm sort of looking at right here all right so I don't know if I got oh, I did get that okay that's been looted it's already been looted and I can't take any more of that okay so you can actually chop down the um, uh, these old poles there which is kind of cool and I think that's going to take it for now. I might just head back later on if it allows me. If there's like a like a little cool down timer, I hope that there is. And at least this way, I can sort of come back and just grab everything else. I don't want to waste up too much energy. So there's 15 minutes. Okay, there's only 15 minutes there. So we'll run back anyway. We'll see what else is there. Um, there's available at the moment. But I think I'm pretty much out of my energy as it is because I've only got two energy over here, which is not good. But we'll jump back into the uh, into the shelter here and see what's up. There might be a way for me to actually increase my energy, so I'm going to suss that out as well. Check it all out. Um, no, I'm gonna, not, not going to rate. So restore energy. Okay, so you can basically watch ads and get 30 um, plus energy back. Uh, use gold bars and then recuperate, which I'm not going to do. I don't think that's going to be worth my time in doing so. Um, okay, so look back. Shelter safe. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go find a car by the looks of things. In an enemy shelter by the looks of things to um, basically open up the basement. So that'll be the next thing we need to do. And I heard something. Ah, go away. Okay. Kind of neat actually with this game, so especially if you're, um, let's just read that. If you're at base and you're just chilling, you're just doing your thing, and then all of a sudden you get attacked, I mean, pretty neat. I think with this, this does a lot more damage than everything else. I'm going to equip that. Um, the rags, let's throw back. Nails as well. Hammer, I don't think I'm going to need right now. And then we've got these bandages that we can use. Um, I think for now, really not much else that I can sort of. Oops. Okay, and this final one here. So I'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. And yeah, all right, why not? Actually, do that. I'll do that instead. And apparently, I was supposed to look on my PDA, which I think it's over here. Uh, challenges, let's just collect. And then quests here. So basically, 
I'm going to go to the shelter basement. Okay, well, it's fine. I go to the basement and prepare the place for the radio station basement. It's locked. Uh, she tells you that there's a key hidden in a broken car at the fog's edge of the shelter. All right, so let's go to that car further down over here. There we go. And let's open this one up. Oh, not enough energy. Okay. Oh, hey, hey. Where did these wolves come from? Really? Come on, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm going to take that. And I need a certain amount of energy to open this up. So I don't know how much energy I really need for that. So, interesting. Um, okay. So, well, obviously she's telling me I still need to go there. And this guy here. Okay, so basically he's our little trader. And essentially the more that we sort of trade with him in the specified time, um, we can actually get, you know, more off him. Okay, so I need a pers uh, persuasion skill to bargain with the trader, which makes sense. That's actually a neat little feature in the game. Uh, these guys are doing well. So yeah, if I continue to collect scrap and things like that, I'll be able to unlock that sort of stuff. Um, but let's have a look now. If I can come to this car and open this up. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing I probably need at least 10 energy or something like that just to open it up with shit. So let's just take that. All right, so let's go to the basement. And there's a bad guy down there. Lovely. All right, so let's open up this basement here. Before we go in there, I'm just gonna eat some food. Because knowing my luck, I'm gonna sort of, you know, and I've got my healing stuff here, which is good. And let's just equip that there. Okay, so I think I might be okay. Let's go in anyway. And we'll suss out what's happening here. All right, so there is someone over there. I'm going to just sneak up on him behind me. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's not good. Definitely not good. All right. Oh, he's got a massive, he's got a big ass attack as well. No, 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 no. All right, let's quickly get out. Let's just heal up and we'll go back in again and try and take him out. Wow. Um, yeah, so he does a fair amount of damage. What's not going to be good is if he is able to, um, well, if you go back in and he's regenerated all of his health, that's obviously not good at all. Um, okay, so do I have any other... Well, look, I've got food here. I'm just going to take all that for now. Because I'm definitely going to need... I don't want to split. I want to eat. Eat, eat, eat. What's the healing properties on this? So about 125. And a good thing to note at this stage, just before we go back in, is when you're looking at food and healing properties and things like that, so let's just check that out. You notice that that's only going to um, heal up your uh, your survivor's um, you know, uh, health bar. But you look at the food properties as well. And some food properties do have the energy uh, icon as well. So it depends on what type of food that you're eating. You might be able to regenerate a lot more energy. That will obviously in turn and allow you to keep running into zones and things like that. So if you work strategically, you might, might be able to have um, a decent amount of resources and you can have um, a lot more playing time in the game without having to run out of um, uh, energy. So yeah, that's, that's, I guess that's a thing. But anyway, all right, so, oh Jesus, no. Come on. I'm just going to keep hitting him until he just falls. Okay. Let's 
so good thing that we uh, leveled up so I didn't have to worry about any sort of uh, healing from my end here so this is an artifact identifier gonna need a range of items here just to complete this guy here so I'm not too sure if all this is in game or not but at least this way this even tells us where we need to go for each um, specific item which is always a good thing it's actually one of the things I really like about this game oh hello oh where was this <laughs> I should have looked at this beforehand this would have helped me out immensely but all right it is what it is let's just take all of that um, and then we've got this thing here and this is an upgrades ben uh, bench here which is kind of neat and again we just need some basic resources to actually complete that I think the wire is probably one thing I'll probably have to find and chase I think I've got all this here um, so yeah it doesn't appear that these auto fill either so like your, your standard crafting menu table um, but that's fine so we can basically put a few things into here and then yeah finish it off I guess eventually and then we've got a few things here I don't know if I want to go ahead and grab everything here it's probably a good idea to do so um, and I don't, okay we've got this little energy ball here I think from memory I have to use the stones to throw um, and break that down I guess but let's quickly have a look around and just see if there's anything else available here and then we've got this little tape thing my inventory is full all right so i might have to just drop something off first and then yeah we'll just grab everything else so okay i might just go ahead and leave that and that's there for now so I'm not, I'm not too sure if these are going to be like little permanent stations that you can um, acquire um, or have storage inventory or anything like that here and then if we go into here I need an axe that's fine and then with this thing here I think I've thrown my throwing rocks uh, back into inventory so we won't bother with that anyway, I'll probably end up cleaning that up later on in my own time, but um, that's it. And then we've got this other massive door, if I open this. Uh, okay, so it's locked with a complex mechanical look, so I guess that will be introduced later on into the game when I find you know, certain items or, or anything like that. But that's pretty much it guys, so we'll probably go ahead and leave it here for today. But before we do, we'll just um, go and claim this one here and okay just have a quick squeeze about what, what they're talking to me about here okay all right cool so basically we um we have to move the radio tower or the radio unit back into the basement here and that's it anyway but we're gonna go ahead and leave it here today so i appreciate you guys stopping by as always um, checking out the video make sure you hit the like button of course um, just to get some exposure with the video please that'll be much appreciated um, comment down below let me know what you think about the game are you guys playing this game how far have you gotten into the game any tips let me know in the comment section below um, and if you guys haven't uh, done so already guys new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button notification bell so you don't miss out on any future survival video games that I'm playing Anyway guys, take it easy and I'll catch you next time.